Ooh. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh. I will do my best this morning. I feel like I'm coming down with something. I don't feel particularly well in real life. Hmm. The back of my throat feels very... almost inflamed. I've gone into the bathroom and had a look in the mirror. Can't see anything. My, my tonsils are not swollen. There's no sign of redness or tearing or anything. But for some reason it just feels very... <clears throat> like uncomfortable. Anyway, I'll stream for a bit and if I have to stop then I have to stop. So, um... Hi! Welcome indeed. Right. So I'll just let people filter in. Um, one second. So Caitlin is still alive. She's doing pretty well. I probably jinxed it now, haven't I? Yeah, she's okay. She's okay indeed. Right, I'm just going to wash all of my clothing while I've got the lake here. Okay. Ah, so extremely heavy load. Overloaded by all of this. How's my health? I'll check this bandage momentarily. Right, um, so, for those just, uh, well, for those not familiar with Project Zomboid, perhaps those watching the VOD after the fact, you're looking at an open-world survival game in which you play as a survivor of the zombie apocalypse. Uh, this game is quite similar to many, many other games released after 2013, with the explosion of the DayZ mod causing a sudden, um, enormous interest in sort of open-world zombie survival stuff. So, hands-off gameplay from a developer perspective where you drop a bunch of people in an open world, maybe there's crafting, maybe there's base building, you're definitely finding items uh, items and upgrading your gear, and probably holding off... Uh, hang on. Thought I heard a zombie. <clears throat> and uh, at the very least, certainly just trying to stay alive versus some sort of an external threat, be it cannibals or zombies or witches or whatever. Hmm. But yeah... So, um, the, the, sorry, the way that this game, however, um, sort of disassociates itself from the rest of its competition is it's put much greater emphasis on the player versus the environment compared to, uh, others. <clears throat> so some of them just have, uh, base building and, and finding gear and, and then it goes sort of straight into a PvP endgame. Uh, not so much with this one. This one stays in the PvE. In fact, the PvE gets gradually tougher, especially as winter starts to arrive. It's now the 9th of... what is that? February? Cool. So, a little warmer. It's about 7... almost 7 degrees as opposed to, like, minus 4. And the snow's melted, which is nice. Okay. Just, yeah, just trying to wash all of my equipment since I got the water here. I don't know, Poke Lolo. I don't think I have anything particularly interesting to say beyond, um, you know, mentioning Project Zomboid and... and uh, in relation to other mechanics of this survival sandbox. But, um, no, I'm not trying to uh, besmirch it, but it's not its not doing anything that, like, eye-opening compared to all of the others. But, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Conan, and Regis, and more. Thank you, all of you. For those just joining, I'll do my best this morning. My throat really hurts for some... Well, not doesn't hurt, but it, it's quite uncomfortable. I might need to uh, keep sipping water. Um... Yeah, not sure why. Maybe I'm coming down with something. Hi there, Twit and Rue. Thank you very much, Twit and Rue. I hope you're well. Thank you. And Dark Stars. Thank you, Dark Stars. <coughs> I hope the chocolates went well, Twit and Rue. Okay. There is one quite relaxed dog over there. She's back from her W word in the, in the P-A-R-K. So she got some attention. She saw the nice man with the walking stick that she sees every day and she gets some treats from. He's got a little bum bag on his front. He's got like a a pouch that contains dog treats and so she got fed. Yeah, she's a happy girl. Sleepy and happy. Okay, right. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my throat. <clears throat> Thank you, Seawolf. Thank you very much, Seawolf. Okay, so one moment. Yeah, I hope yeah, I hope I'm not coming down with something. It is actually quite painful to speak. Not pa I keep saying painful, uncomfortable, just tickly. Right. So, Caitlin has done very well. Yesterday evening, I was able to find one minute a pawn shop, which isn't there. It was down there, wasn't it? Somewhere down here. What is that building anyway? Restaurant. Is that a shopping mall? Oh, interesting. 
I basically broke into a shop with a ton of guns and a ton of ammo, so hooray. I'm going to get these home rather urgently. I need to get all this shit home. So, this thing is just chock-a-block with stuff. Let me just drop anything that I can. Okay, keep the shotgun shells. Keep the shotgun on me in the event, in the event that I crash and I have to defend myself. Put the axe... Oh, okay, I can't put the axe in the bag. So I've got stuff in the bag. Put this assault rifle in the back. Right. Thank you, JD. Thank you very much, JD. Uh, put this M14. No, it won't fit. Something called a Ruger. Okay, and then a bunch of uh, pistol magazines. We can stack the back with them. Yeah, okay. How are we doing? And then move the antique axe into my pack. Move 10 of the shotgun shells into the pack. I just need to make sure that... Cool. So yeah, I can actually move around now. Food-wise, feeling a bit peckish. The sun is going down. Um, <clears throat> canned peaches. Dog food? We'll just have a can of peaches. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you very much, Scooter. <clears throat> right. So, on the YouTube side of things, folks, um, I'm going to be working on Armour 3 bullshittery, as that was the winner of a poll that the patrons and the, and the Twitch subscribers uh, filled in. So I combined the results, and Armour appears to be the winner. I was, move <coughs> I was moving the footage... <coughs> Sorry. I was moving... Oh, dear. I was moving the footage over, and I've discovered that it's, it's not very well organised. There's a good reason for that. Armour predates many of the uh, far more efficient data storage methods that I've got when it comes to storing so many live streams and tracking their footage. So, it's a bit of a mess. I've got to spend quite some time going through the master project file and bringing it, bringing it up to like modern standards when it comes to how I store the masters. Um, basically, there's a big Adobe Premiere project file and all of the live stream footage goes into it and then I sort of I, I sort of mark things with sequences are they called sequences? yeah sorry I was going to say compositions but that's After Effects so I sort of store them as woo my frame rate I store them in their own separately named sequences so I can find them easily however that's only really a process that I started doing um, in the last few years or so and since Armour well, it predates my use of Adobe Premiere, so some clips aren't even in Premiere, so oof. Anyway, the point is, lots of faff to start with. Before I can even get to editing, I've got to know what I've got available. Okay. Shit, my frame rate is quite dippy. You seeing this? I'm guessing there's lots of Zeds. So I'm just going to take it carefully, and I'm going to start driving back home. Oh shit, I'm not even supposed to be on this bit. Cool. How is everyone? Are you all okay? Thank you, um, oh, thank you, Lock Johnny and Scooter and JD. Thank you all of you. And hi there, Jaina. Hello indeed. Apologies if my voice sounds bad. I'm, I'm, I've got a very tickly, um, <clears throat> very tickly throat. I'm hoping I'm not coming, I hope I'm not coming down with something. Uh, thank you, Mozzie Isle. Thank you very much, Mozzie. Or Moz Isle. Whoa, that's quite a few zeds. Right. Mag says, The nature of the game tends to drop frames in busy towns with lots of content loading in. The ray casting is suspect to blame here. Is the suspect to blame. Sure. Ooh. Uh, am I going the right way? Not sure. <coughs> this area is not properly mapped. Thank you, Autumn Rain. Thank you very much, Autumn. Right. Oh, yeah? Jaina returned with a hellish cough. Shit. Yeah, maybe I should... I've got COVID tests. Maybe I should take one, just in case. I'm meant to be meeting my mum for some coffee on the weekend, so... Is that a hazmat zombie? That might be. Yeah, I'm, I'll take a test, but just to make sure. If I do, then I'm sealing the fucking doors. I'm not going anywhere. Right. 
What is this game about? Survival in the zombie apocalypse, basically. An isometric uh, zombie survival game in which you play as a sometimes randomly generated, but you can pick your own traits if you wish. Uh, character. So if you uh, if you die, you lose everything. It's one of those. Hang on. And over time, the zombie threat gets ever more advanced. Initially, it's just a few, and they roam all over, but uh, before long, the whole world has gone to hell. Fresh water and water pressure goes, so you'll no longer simply be able to go to a tap and turn it in order to get fresh water. The convenience is of a first world country. Hang on. <clears throat> or just any any, any uh, vaguely modernised country. Um, electricity, depending on the server settings, tends to go down, but I think the guys might be against that because it makes it harder to navigate. I like it, to be honest, but to each their own. Um... Yeah, so it's a case of finding sufficient food, staying alive. One fuck up, and hell, I could have a fuck up this stream, and I lose everything. So I'm losing the light, so... I really should have gone down a route that I... had gone down before, hang on. Should we go this way for a second? Is this a... Hello? Crashed helicopter. I shouldn't get greedy. This entire pickup truck is laden down with guns and ammo. No sense getting greedy. Let's just drive back. <clears throat> okay. Is Project Zomboid a game that can be played casually? Uh, sure. I guess depending on your definition of casual. It's not like a sweaty try-hard game. It's just drop in and do your best to survive. It's a game where it, it's sort of bleeding edge in that regard. In that it's of the same ilk where because it's a survival thing, yeah, one fuck up and you lose everything. So... It's, uh, it's walking on a tightrope, as I've described it before. You're continually trying to walk the tightrope. So some people find that stressful. Um, myself and many people find it quite enjoyable because, um, well, for many different reasons, to each their own, but it also feels like you're not having your hand held by a developer who's looking over your shoulder. You're, you're free to survive, Jesus Christ, by whatever means you can, oh shit. By whatever means you can, don't have a dip in frame right now. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone into these sleepy residentials. So many Zeds. Don't damage my car. Fuck. I need to stop and look at the map, but they'll rip me out of the car through the window, which is smashed. I'm guessing the prior occupant. Okay, stop is good enough. Check the map. Right, so I want to go... Does this connect? Fuck. I really hope that this connects. Okay, I need to get out of here. Thank you, Vincent Frost. Thank you very much, Vincent. Actually, one second. Where's the... Where am I? I'm here. Is this a motorway? What is this? Ah, oh, this must connect. Okay, I'm close anyway. Let's get back on that motorway. Thank you, Vincent. And Andy. An impotent banana. Thank you. Is that a gun on the floor? Someone drop that gun. Okay. So take a left turn here, <clears throat> and then a right turn up ahead, I think. And we should... be able to get on the motorway. A tight squeeze. Don't get caught. Here we go. Right. <clears throat> That's better. Although still watch my surroundings. Yeah, because otherwise you could smash into a corpse. So yeah, um, what else is going on today? I'll tell you what, so I was up until uh, around one in the morning last night, so I, I went to bed quite late because I ended up doing quite a bit of cooking. I tried to use the last of the pasta dough that I had prepared, so with some flour and some eggs in a bowl, I whipped up some dough, and then I was running it through a set of rollers that my mum, uh, not gifted me, I'm just borrowing it, a set of pasta rollers, and then I was just uh, like um, making flat sheets of pasta dough, super thin, although you don't even need the rollers if you're curious, if you're, if you're listening and you, you want to give it a try, you can just use a rolling pin. Um, 
but yeah, I was making sheets of pasta and then making big flat sheets like a like a lasagna. But then I was putting them over a mold with these little um, like these divots, these little gaps in it. And then in that in those gaps, I was placing um, filling for ravioli, so chicken and bacon, and uh, a type of cheese. It's like a grated cheese. I can't remember the name. Um, with risotto, which is another type of cheese, and some garlic all fried together in a pan. So I made some nice filling. Uh, and um, yeah, and then I got fresh, uh, fresh, fresh uh, ravioli, which I put on a plate and covered in cling film, and is now in the fridge. I tried to freeze it last time, but it didn't freeze as well as I was hoping. So hmm. thank you, Lord Asriel. Thank you very much, Lord Asriel. So yeah, ricotto. Sorry, did I say? Did I mean ricotto? It's like a, it's like a, a, a creamy cheese. Did I misspeak? Sorry. Um, anyway. So yeah, indeed, indeed, I do enjoy cooking ordinary Ollie. Always have. I find it quite relaxing. My kitchen is tiny though. I've got like two work surfaces and a cooker, so it's covered in flour and shit. Ah, oh, we did, yeah, hang on, this bus here. I spotted this last time, but there were millions of Zeds. There's fewer around me now. How is the quality of this bus? Pop the bonnet. Ooh, it's, well, the hood is shagged. No, the engine is completely wankered. Repair engine, I lack the necessary skill. Damn. Uh, pardon me? in the seats. Nope, it's been picked clean. I'm guessing they were bringing, bringing survivors to this camp. Seat occupied. So it is. <laughs> Big gun. Thank you, Silver Server. Uh, uh, sorry, Silver Surfer and Ryzal. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. Um, Was that there before? I can't remember. So yes, after doing that pasta stuff, I um, switched over to making a something called Tuscan... Is it Tuscan chicken? Or Tuscany chicken? Uh, that involved taking a frying pan and taking some chicken breast and dicing it up and mixing it with some paprika, some salt and some pepper. And then I placed it in the frying pan with a teeny weeny bit of oil from uh, some sun-dried tomatoes. So a jar of sun-dried tomatoes. Fried it until it was golden and cooked all the way through, well not all the way through, just almost all the way through. Put it to one side, and then in, in a frying pan I mixed up some garlic, some uh, some more of the oil from the uh, from the sun-dried tomatoes. The sun-dried tomatoes. And then once they were all cooked through, I mixed in some double cream. Four. So a big, big pot of double cream. Okay. And then I added some uh, diced up spinach, uh, spinach, so the spinach leaves, fresh spinach, spinach leaves, and they all wilted and went uh, went uh, small. Okay, okay, this is a bit awkward. I've got to thread my way through carefully without getting ripped out the car. That's actually really tricky. Oh, shit, I could damage this car. Just gonna pull them away. Okay, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Cool. Right. I think we're clear, aren't we? Free of the camp. So yes, uh, mixed in in the frying pan, and then I put the chicken back in with the uh, with the cream and the tomatoes and all that, and gave it a good cook through. And then I prepared some rice in the rice cooker, and just like that, voila, I have delicious chicken with tomatoey chicken with paprika and cream. Hang on, where am I going? Yep, this is fine. Carry on. It's a bit of a journey.
hella dangerous, holy shit. Yeah, quite unhealthy. Yeah, Shanif, yeah, yeah. I did pour in an, an entire tub of double cream, so it's like, Ugh. I think I need to go for a jog today. <laughs> uh, oh, and then afterwards, I uh, prepared the slow cooker. Uh, the slow cooker, I think they're called crock pots. I can't remember if they're called crock pots in the US or the UK. It's the brand name. Like um, like a vacuum cleaner, it's called a Hoover. What's the term for that? You know, when the brand has become synonymous with the thing? If you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically just a ceramic, a big ceramic bowl that you put in a, like an electric heater that sits on the uh, work surface. And it, it heats it up very slowly over the course of like eight to ten hours or something. So you can just leave it on overnight. So in that, I fried up some beef with some onions. And then I mixed in some uh, sweet corn. Uh, what else did I put in? There was sweet corn. There was uh, some water to make like a stew with a bit of Worcester sauce. Some tomatoes, a couple of tins of diced tomatoes. Um, some salt, some pepper, a bit of uh, ch uh, yeah, some uh, diced chilies. Yeah, I was making uh, like a, a beefy stew. Oh, and some beans as well. Mm. Another hazmat zombie. You know what? I don't think people are coming over here, frankly, over to this town. We should definitely re revisit. I think most people aren't going to this town in the in the far northeast. Probably because it's just such a ball lake to go to. We should definitely go back. Get get like a big truck or something and go back. She is? She's... Oh, sorry, it's the dog. Are you joking, talking about me, talking about food? Uh, or is she salivating? What's she doing? Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. So yeah, so um, put on the slow cooker and then prepared a delicious stew overnight. And I just had a bit for breakfast and it was quite nice. It's also quite chilly. One minute, turn the heater on. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, messy? Sure, sure. Makes sense. God damn, there's so many Zeds. Makes for a difficult driving jobby. I think my... I don't think my engine is knackered, but I've already hit the front of the car a few times, so... Hmm. Sorry, the dog is far away from the camera. Can I armour the vehicle? I don't know, Fusion. I'm not sure. <clears throat> uh, do we eat stew for breakfast? Well, I had some, because I had a fresh pot of hot stew. It was tasty. Cool, we're close. So, did some cooking, uh, watched some YouTube videos just in the background to relax. No one was playing Project Zomboid by the looks of things at the time, so I couldn't watch someone's stream. Yeah! Hope you're well, Messy. There was uh, a corgi in the park being adorable. So, one minute. There we go. Just had to rack the shotgun there. Okay. Hello, darling. Hang on. What's up? You on camera? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, she's a happy girl. Who do I watch when I'm bored? I'm a big fan of sort of long-form video essay stuff. So I, I, I particularly like videos where it's someone, someone who has a passion for something, especially something I'm not familiar with, explaining it to me. I enjoy that. There was a video I was watching a while ago of just a guy, he was going, um, like, he was getting clams and oysters and just talking about them as he did so. I was like, oh, that's fascinating. But I also enjoy, uh, just, like, well, just like the next man, I enjoy a good, uh, like, sort of long-winded takedown of some piss-poor movie or something. Something that failed to understand the uh, the concept of it and went and greenlit it anyway. Yeah. Da, 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 
Africa, which way am I going? Yeah, continue. <coughs> so just stay on the uh, motorway. I don't know, uh, Night Elf. I can't remember. I can't, cannot remember. Sorry. Um, uh, but I suppose just to name them, I, I enjoy watching uh, quite a bit of red letter media. They're quite fun. Um, I like watching Folding Ideas. That's uh, another good one. Mr. B Tongue, although he's long since gone, which is a big shame. Yeah. Some of the Lindsay Ellis stuff as well. That's always fun. Talking about things like The Hobbit. Or that weird wolf porn thing, whatever it was. That author that went weird. Thank you, UK Ronin. Thank you. Eh, maybe. I, I, forgive me, I tried the Lindy Bage stuff, but I, I really think that sometimes... and. I, there's no way to really say it without sounding like you're throwing shade. I think sometimes um, it's better to cut harder and, and uh, like, there's too much, sometimes with some YouTubers, there's too much standing in front of the camera, not tightly reading a script, like rambling. Like what I'm doing now, I'm just rambling. I'd never dream of putting this on YouTube. It's, uh, I, I prefer it when things are a little bit more concise, you know, like direct. Like, here's the line, here's the next line, here's the next one. You fuck up the line, you re-record the line, that sort of thing. Hang on. For this reason, I find myself a little bit annoyed, I don't know about you, but a little bit annoyed that YouTube keeps recommending live streams that are now appearing on their platform. It's like, this YouTuber is live streaming, and then it's just like a... Just an unbroken stream of, like... Just thoughts. Uh, that's all well and good if you if you're going to Twitch and watching a live stream. But when I go to YouTube, forgive me, I I, I want to watch something that's been edited together. Time is my, well, my time is limited if I'm going up on YouTube. Li again, live streams different. If you've got Twitch on, it's different. I suppose YouTube desperately wants to compete with Twitch, but yeah. Oh god, yeah, they keep trying to compete with TikTok with that stupid short thing. Does anyone like- I hate that. I, I, I fucking hate that so much. The interface is shit, the concept is shit, there's nothing about it that I like. Hell, I mean, the entire- forget, sorry, I, I, I might misspeak, uh, forgive me, uh, out of ignorance. I thought the entire idea of TikTok is that it's supposed to be extremely aggressive? Is that not the concept? As in, the reason it's succeeding is that it's it's basically Vine, so short videos, but it's it's recommended to you algorithmically, very quickly, like video, 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 like it's it's continually bombarding you with as many. It, 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 I've heard it described as extremely aggressive content delivery, and that's one of the reasons why it's succeeding because people who don't have the time to sort of browse through and subscribe to individual people who are less window shoppers and are more just put the telly on in the background see what's on. It's like, okay, here's a short, here's a short, here's a short. I, I hate that idea? I, I don't do that. I don't know about you, but I, I don't browse content that way. I think it's stupid. Well, that's one half of it, isn't it? I mean, the other half is that it's supposed to be selling all your data to the Chinese government. But I doubt that's a open, openly talked about feature. Oh shit, I'm okay. Car still working. Hang on. This way. So yeah, if YouTube trying to go down that route, I'm like, oh god, why? No, Jesus. Thank you, Street Claw. Thank you very much, Street Claw. Thank you for doing that, Street. Some people use the YouTube shit to say, hey, I'm live on Twitch now. Do they? Oh, God. What, you mean every time they go live? Is that what you mean? Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. Holy shit. What the fuck? God damn, what the fuck? What happened? Is this someone's car? 
hand torch and the glove box. Did someone get killed here? Tom was here, do you reckon? Maybe it was, um, oh, it was ammo, 45 calibre. And somebody called a hard, oh, it's a hardballer. That's the hitman gun, isn't it? Holy shit. Hang on, I'm just looking for like a key ring. Did someone die here? Keeps going, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, yeah, check the trunk. Uh, check the boots, sorry, not the trunk. Uh, maybe. Not sure, can't tell. Yeah, maybe someone just upgraded a car. Maybe the Zeds were all over them and they had to deal with them. Any bullets on the floor to indicate... Shells, look. Two shotgun shells. Someone had a... Was it a double barrel, you reckon? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, look. Look, 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 look. Hang on. On the floor. See that? Where is it? Casings. 5.56 millimeter. Someone had a rifle. God damn. Maybe two different people. One with a shotgun. One with a rifle. Oh, here comes Zed. One minute. I'll have my own contribution to this. There we go. I meant to miss. It was a warning shot. Dead bird. Rotten. Grim. Reload. Okay. Right. Also, one minute before I continue. Uh, oh, yeah. I've, I've put the other weapon on the seat there. That's why it was blocked. Let me just grab... Hang on. Uh, la -dee -da -dee -da. Sorry, what happened to... There we go. Tin of food. Canned potatoes. So, for the people just joining the stream, welcome to, uh, well, soon to be the town of Muldra, just down the road. Um, I'm playing as uh, Caitlin. Caitlin Curry. She's a an army veteran with piss-poor fighting... Well, piss-poor melee abilities. She's not very... Uh, strong physically. Uh, she is, however, an excellent uh, has has excellent medical abilities. So I assume she was probably a medic or something. Medic, even. One minute. So I've managed to survive quite a few days now. We're doing okay. Twenty-five days, not bad. Does it show how many Zeds I've killed? Four hundred exactly. That was number four hundred. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. Z, you're number 400. Okay. So far, so good, but I shouldn't get overconfident. It could all go wrong at a the drop of a penny. Okay, how does time work in the game? So you can see it up there, so that's how quickly it's moving. <coughs> how many days did I survive with Chase? I did screenshot it. Sorry, I, I can I can check my screenshots later when I'm a bit safer. Um, I took a screenshot when I died so that the chat would know how I died. Because you probably weren't going to believe me or, or whatever. So yeah, my previous survivor, Chase Armstrong, a an overweight nutritionist, which I guess is kind of admitting that you suck at your job. Was that there before? Someone's moved these cars out of the way. Is this a player car? It may well be. It is locked. Interesting. I'll leave it alone. Someone's been disassembling the cars. Okay. I'm afraid not, Frankie Bad. I, um, sorry, I know I keep repeating it. I don't... What's that noise? Um, I don't generally watch games conventions or general market announcements. Uh, I, I find that talk is cheap in the games industry, so I don't really trust it. Um, yeah, once a game is out and it's in the hands of customers and it's great, then hooray, get hyped. Until then... Meh. Okay. Thank you, Tra TM. Thank you very much, Tra. Thank you. 
and Billy the Wizard. Thank you, Billy. And the one with the moustache. Thank you. Yeah, just, you know, be skeptical, skeptical Centurio. That doesn't mean one has to be like a, a, a cynical sort of misery guts about everything. It's more that just be picky as a consumer. It's a product. They're trying to sell you a product. So that doesn't mean you have to start s hyping. Yeah, just, just be, be a bit more sensible about one's purchases. But yeah, talk is cheap. It's easy for to go on the stage and say we're going to do this, this, and this. and It's quite another thing to deliver it. And as I keep saying, apologies, I feel like I'm always repeating the same points when the same questions are asked. Uh, I worked in software development for quite some time, which made me intensely cynical about, about people wearing smart shirts. The better dressed you are, generally speaking, the less you know about the realities of a project. At least in my experience. Perhaps other people's experience are, experiences are different. But the, mo the more you're sort of in the marketing or the customer-facing side, the less you're physically involved in the day-to-day -day running of the project you're not in the stand-ups you've no idea what, what's really going on with this project No, sorry. Um, uh, stand up. It's uh, an exercise in which everyone basically stands in a circle. Now, you're standing up because if you're sitting down, then you're tempted to make it a meeting and that's going to burn loads of time. Everyone stands in a circle at the start of the day and they explain exactly what they're working on. It's meant to be like a quick brief. Like, this developer's doing this. This guy's doing this. Okay, now we need you to do this. All right. I'm trying to figure out why this bug is occurring, but I can't. Can you help me, please, Alex? Yes, okay, I'll help you. Give you 20 minutes in the afternoon. Okay, okay, done, done, go. Everyone get to work. For software, it's a very collaborative thing. You've got lots and lots of people working on it. Gone are the days where one man would just... Well, not strictly true, but... Typically, it's no longer just one dude working on something all the way from start to finish. Everyone brings their talents. And generally speaking, effect, if, you, if you want to do it effectively, or at least the industry um, uh, convention is, you try to do it all together in one studio, preferably around one table if you can. Again, depends heavily on the team. Outsource what you can, but be careful. I know Vancouver is super cheap to do development in, but it's also super cheap to do development in keep as much in-house as possible if you're to maintain reins over the quality. There we go, there's the traffic cone. Where was it? Was it, Van Fuck. it was either Vancouver or... I can't remember. We kept losing loads of work down here in Brighton because it's way cheaper to do the same job over in Canada. That's why I had to go work in London. It was really the last gasp when it came to... Was that what it said? The last gasp when it came to software development stuff. It all dried up everywhere else. Whoop. Right, we're nearly home. Welcome to Maldra. My character's quite hungry and thirsty. Also, the weather has... Well, that's the temperature inside the car, but... Maybe the weather is good enough to put some crops down? Maybe. Water is still quite busy. Whoa, hello. Um, I wouldn't know 3D Swayze. Sorry, I, I, I cannot speak with any experience now. It's been many years since I've uh, been working in, as a YouTuber now, so you're going to have to speak to somebody with uh, more experience in that matter, in that regard. Okay, we're home. Holy shit, we made it. Turn off the heater. Ha ha! Ha ha! All right then. Welcome to my home. Return my friends. It's the same note from before. 
<laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll probably just put the stuff in the bin unless I need it. Oops, hang on. Dear cunt, it's a note from someone called Mo Lester. Be careful, the gnomes in this neighbourhood are a menace. Really brought the market down. Mo Lester. Dinkle Bean. I'll move that round the back in a minute. Okay. Cool. We're back. Sweet. Now then. Let's go get shit unloaded, shall we? Get the weapons upstairs and get them properly sorted. Although, if you'll forgive me, first things first, well, I need to put some food on, but I'm desperate for a wee-wee. Let me just have a quick beer. Beer bottle. Grab one. There we go. No? Can't grab one? There we go. So yes, um, if you're just joining the stream, I hope you're having a love. I hope you're having a lovely day today. One second, drink this beer and have a sit down. Oh, okay. Back in just one moment. I need to go for a wee. Put the dog on. Hang on. Um, I think the stand is broken. It's most annoying. Hang on. I'll tell you what. I can. The camera's got its own uh, hinge. <laughs> Back in a second. Alrighty then. So, for the people just joining, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Um, I'm playing as an, an army medic who successfully made her way back home to the town of Maldra. Here, I have a barricaded residential building surrounded by mostly looted residential buildings. And, um, yeah, the zombie problem has gotten pretty extreme in Maldra. I've driven the car all the way to Louisville, Louisville, where I raided a pawn shop which was completely barricaded and untouched. So, I'm going to start unload- well, get some food first before anything. I'm going to start unloading the car. Grab some salt. I've got a trolley upstairs that I can utilise. One moment. Um, let's get this saucepan. Okay, get something on. What should we cook? I'll do some pasta. Hang on. Do -do 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 -do. Equip primary. Go over to the water. Is it tainted or is it okay? Pretty sure it's okay. Fill up the saucepan. Louis, uh, Louisville is pronounced Lu Louisville. Louisville. Lu Louisville? Louisville. It's fine. Somethingville. <laughs> right, hang on. The big fuck off town over there. Ooh, can I put the tea in there? Hmm. A saucepan with water. Pasta, 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 pasta. Here it is, pasta. Which one is the... Yeah, this one here. Uh, place pasta in the saucepan. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Cool. And then all I have to do is switch it on. Is that correct? Ooh, box of pasta. Hang on. Right. Uh, there we go. And turn it on. Sweet. Should hear it bubbling. Right. Uh, let me just open up the uh, the bin over here and just start. So put that note in there. Empty tin can. Empty bottles. Two blue speedos. Strapless bar. Bra, bra, strapless bra. Right. Eh. He did not see. Sorry, Messi. I, I did not see. What did I not see? Hang on. I'm just gonna pour a drink. What did I do? Uh, what did I not see? Mm. 
Messi says, since I don't think anyone told you, we have a mod with a journal you can make uh, that lets you retain 75% of your skills if you, if you die. Oh, okay. Um, I'll probably... Um, I'll probably hold off if that's alright, uh, Messi. I, I think losing losing the skills is is a, an important penalty, I think. But thank you anyway. If I can get most of the skills back, then I'm less inclined... Well, yeah. I, I want to feel the pain of losing the skills. Okay. Right. There we go. So, had a bit of pasta. That's all well and good. Cool. Thank you, Messi. Indeed, as I keep saying, um, for me, it's not necessarily about winning. Sometimes losing can be way more fun. Or at least make you feel something. Even if that feeling is, oh god, you know, despair. It's something. Rather than just going through the motions and clicking the colours. Hang on, where's that cart? Here it is. Grab this, put in both hands. Whee, there we go. <laughs> this is cool. I love this. This is a cool cool idea. Oops. Put his... Uh, there we go. So, I need to sort out, properly sort out, exactly where I'm putting these guns. Maybe I should have a box for, say, just pistols. Maybe a box for just... Whoopsie. Just ammunition. That's not a bad idea. What's in this box here? So hang on, this box contains shoes and a garbage bag, two of them. That garbage bag is actually useful, I was, I was going to make a rain collector out of it. So what's that? So there's a pistol in here, let me just put that on the cart. Yeah, we'll put ammunition in this box, pistols in this, bo in this box, and maybe rifles in that one? <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and then I'll figure out exactly which uh, which pistols I have. Also, there's no particular sense hanging on to weapons that I uh, that I do not have the ammo for, or like seven different types of rifle. Right. Uh, also, while we're here, let me just fill up the water bottle. Oh no, where is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Water bottle. Eh, put that there. Cool. Hmm. So yeah, everything's fine here. So for the people just joining, today I'll be working on Armour 3 bullshittery, but it's still a bit too early to say I'll be working on the bullshittery specifically. What I need to do is I need to go into the Adobe Premiere project file that I've got and try and sort it out a bit. It is charitably a huge mess. Um, yeah. I started using Adobe Premiere in 2017, the start of 2017. So before that it was Sony Vegas, and of course, Armour bullshittery was done in Vegas. It started when? What, like, 2014? So there are huge chunks of it that just don't exist on the master, and arguably don't need to exist on the master, but... You do still want me to upload the footage to the closet, which is the website below, the archive, if I've still got it. So, I need to move all the footage into one place, figure out exactly what haven't I used, and label it properly, get it into a master. I've got to build a master, basically. I did have one for anti-Stasi, but based on how I've done my file structure, I think I probably just got... I, I, I think I was a bit pressed for time, because I think I just made a master D Adobe Premiere project. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh wait, can I wear the... I'm wearing both of them. No, I'm not. It's just the, uh, the headset. Where is it? Yeah. Cool. This is my thinking hat. Um, I think I made a, 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 a project folder specifically for anti-Stasi, which is fine, but not overtly helpful in the long term. So I do have the time, so let's, let's do it properly. I need to get the... Yeah, if, if, if there's going to be other armor bullshitteries, which there probably will be, because people want me to make that, um, I need to sort my shit out. Okay. If it's old armor footage, uh, will he will he be in the video? Uh, he? Sai? Yeah, probably. He's all over the place. Right. 
Okay, so, one minute. Uh, there we go. <laughs> he who shall not be named. It's Cy Voldemort. Don't make him Voldemort. Hang on. Um, okay, so... Garbage bags. Let me, yeah, I'll put those in the storage. Beach painting. I, found, I like this. Hang on, let me just unpack this. Uh, how does it work? Can I go... All right. There we go. Yeah, have a nice painting. What do you think? Put that there. Cool. Mm hmm. Hmm. I like it. Go up here, and then we'll put a map of the United States of America. I'm told that the reason for this is that America is so big that you'll generally get lost without a map. Therefore, it's mandatory for all citizens of the United States of America to have a map with them at all times. That and a gun. Can I run with this? Oh, I can. <laughs> I didn't actually get the map because I'm thick. There we go. Let's take all of these recipes as well. I've learnt them, but if I die, I could always make sure that the next character gets them. And the dog has farted. Oof. So, if you were living in different countries, what what would the mandatory yeah what would the mandatory item to carry be in each individual country? Here in the United Kingdom, what would it be? Ah, uh, I don't know. We complain about the weather, that's mandatory, but you don't need an item for that. An umbrella? Yeah, not really. Most people just sort of run from cover to cover and scream. It's kind of weird. Tea bags, maybe. Cricket bats? Yeah. Cricket's a thing, but we're not cricket obsessed. Photo of the Queen? ID card? No. Um. Oh, fishing license, yeah. <laughs> got a license <laughs> yeah everyone's got a fishing license oh a TV license yeah everyone's got a TV license <laughs> uh, hang on right go over here sorry for those just joining this probably looks very fucking strange uh, hang on uh, so cheese cheese man is going over to the uh, the bookcase where I'm gonna just drop down oh it's here Loads of ammo. God damn, what a haul. What a wonderful haul. <laughs> okay. Put down these magazines in the shelf. Lovely jubbly. Okay. We don't need this cube. And I can move this tarp and this metal bar, which is, for some reason, in the bookcase. Okay. Yeah, you got a permit for that license. There we go. I'll take that pen. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, and also while we're here, we'll just... Uh, any duplicates of these maps? Doesn't show me, does it? Need to make sure I've read all of these. Oh, wait, I've got the maps here. Okay, I'll sort that out in, in a minute. No particular rush. Have I been raided by other players? I don't think you, I don't think you can. I don't think it works that way. Uh, once you put down a, uh, a like a thing... Uh, no one can touch anything in your air in your base, so yeah. I uh, think I might misspeak because obviously I'm just playing on this one server and it's private. But I, I'm, I'm not so sure the Project Zomboid is like a PvP thing. Like, not to a huge degree. I don't know. It seems to be intensely PVE. Okay. Let's go over here. The map of the United States of America. Right. Um, what am I doing? Place down. There we go. Place down. And then... Oh, the map is not in my personal inventory. It's on the trolley. So put it in my personal inventory, select it, and then say place down. There we go. No? Shelf. What? What on earth is happening? Not rotate. 
can not pick up. Place. There we go. Sweet. Can I place it here, please? Can I place it there and then rotate? Press R. There we go. Ooh. Can I get there? Whee! That looks kind of nice. All right. What do the colours represent? Hmm. Thank you, Destroy. Thank you very much, Destroy. Oh. Oh shit! Look out, America. You seem to have an enormous nation just off the coast of. Um, uh, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna guess. Okay, just off the coast of. Fuck a duck, what is that? Oklahoma, I think? That's Texas, obviously. That's... California? So what's that? Is that also, is that more California? What's this? What the fuck is that? I have no idea what the fuck this is. I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark. It is... <laughs> fuck it, hang on, just trying to think. <laughs> no, no clue. Hang on, it's Florida, Kentucky, somewhere over here. So we're here, right? Um, and then there's the place where cousins shag each other over here. Everyone down here loves Jesus. This place is not actually a real country. It's just a series of crocodiles that are next, like lying on next to each other until it forms a landmass. Uh, I have no idea what that is. I'm checking. Sorry. It's a place called... It's Arizona! Ah! Oh, really? Is that Arizona? Okay. So, hang on. That's California. So, it is California. I was right. So, that what's that line, then? Okay. What's that? That's Arizona. That's New Mexico. That's Texas. Oh, Texas is huge. What the fuck? Includes a bit of Mexico for some reason. Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, uh, Kansas, Oklahoma. Ah. Florida, that's Florida. Gotcha. I see. What a silly country. Full of weird shapes. Should be an island, like us, for Christ's sake. How are you supposed to, how the fuck are you supposed to stop the French from turning up if you don't live on an island? Jesus. <laughs> That's why they build ships, you see. Every now and again we have to deal with a new armada coming from Spain. It's a real problem. Right. <laughs> Hang on. That was quick. Did I just grab all of those? Oh, okay. That was quick. Right. I'll deal with the guns. Well, I'll just put them all on the trolley. Can I... No, no, the trolley is not not a huge amount of room. Uh, take the... Uh, take the clothing. A bit chilly outside, but not too bad. More maps. So, if you're just joining the stream, um, my cheese-hatted survivor, Caitlin Curry is currently unloading a pickup truck full of guns. I went to a pawn shop in a city over to the northeast. It was completely barricaded and therefore touched by no one. It seems the owner and his girlfriend died inside the shop. I busted in, helped myself to a large number of high-caliber weapons and ammunition. Boxes and boxes of ammunition. I'm now loading it into the barricaded house that I've got where I'm going to sort through and try to words try to determine exactly what is useful and what is piss since I am British and I don't know what these things are I may well embarrass myself in the description of them they seem to fire some sort of metal projectile they seem quite dangerous hang on In all seriousness, for the people just joining, not sure what you're looking at. Uh, so, open world survival in the, the in the zombie apocalypse, with a strong emphasis on the player versus the environment. 
I've survived for some time, but who knows? I could get killed in the next few minutes for all I know. Hopefully not. Right. Start here. In fact, go with my pack. Ooh, nice. Um, hang on, try, duct tape. So this, this shelf is like for... Um, I need like a medical box, don't I? Like a medical cabinet or something. Assorted stuff. Planks. I'm going to drop these planks on the floor, surely. Gun cleaning kit. We'll put that on the trolley. Yeah, are there any... Um, Sorry, that wasn't on the, on the trolley. Are there any weapon systems? Just scour for any, like, a uh, gun cleaning kit. Yeah, here's a, here's a, a shotgun. Oh, okay, the trolley's full. Okay, let's go over here. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to put the bullets in this box over here. So, starting from here, sort by category, ammunition. My throat is actually killing me. I'm, I'm doing my best, folks, but... Ooh. When I see Rem, please stop saying Rem. Is it R-E-M? It's short for Remington. Sorry. I sh I'll, I'll say Remington. Okay. Okay. So, probably get a wheelie bin up here, shouldn't I? I've got a bin outside that I never use. Okay. Sorry, ambulance going by outside? Right, more ammunition. Here we go. <laughs> Remy, rack bar. I have no idea who that is. No clue at all who that is. No idea. She's great with the hula hoop. No idea. Hi there, SWAT. ZF SWAT Knight is in the chat. Hope you're very well, SWAT. SWAT, I went to a shop, and in that shop I found lots of these strange implements. They're tubes which seem to fire some sort of metal projectile down the tube with some sort of a propellant. Ugh. Got strange fancy names. Also boxes of these metal propellant um, packets. Uh, don't know what you would call them. Bang Bang Seeds. Okay. So yes, I'm unloading boxes and boxes of ammunition into another box. Okay. What else? Yeah, just got lots of... Okay, then here at the end we'll put... Question, are these rifles quite large? I mean, is one box going to cut it? Put the pistols in the middle one. <clears throat> oh, my throat is really hurting. Um, okay, so hunting rifle here, a Colt M4, an M14, an M16A2, an SKS paratrooper, a Strayer? Org A1, is that how you say it? Okay. Yeah, so I might, I might actually need, need another box. Okay. <clears throat> How is it pronounced? That's not how you say it. Stur Sturia? Stire. A stire. Is it? Are you sure? Doesn't look like a stire. <coughs> okay, so the box is half full. Alright. I've got way more guns, though. I think I'm going to need a second box. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. Okay. So we'll put pistols and also magazines over here. Okay. Right. More magazines. I should make sure the magazines are empty so I can you know, get them ready before I go anywhere. All right. And a gun cleaning kit. Messi says, I was going to head out to get groceries, but now there's a corgi next to me wanting cuddles. Oh. <laughs> Please give that corgi lots of love. Okay, here in the cupboard I was storing my clothing. Uh, let's put some military helmet, tactical leggings, an ops core fast ballistic helmet, padded pants, so trousers, sorry, a poncho, a woolly hat, earmuffs, some sort of visor. 
Thank you, Scarpa. Thank you very much, Scarpa. Thank you for doing that, Scarpa. Alright, my character is once again quite hungry. Alright. Yeah. Anything else in the in the bag or the trolley? I should put everything on the trolley for the sake of uh convenience. Uh put this in the on the trolley. Keep that on me. Might as well wear it. Uh put it in my bag. Cool. Just make sure that I'm not overloaded as I'm doing this. No sense putting it on my back when I could put it on the trolley. Slightly thirsty. One moment. Reach into my pack and grab a water bottle. It's not it's not in my pack. Uh, did I put it on the trolley too? I did. Oopsie. There we go. It's empty. Just fill it up with water. Oh no. Well, there's a lake not too far, so if I get desperate, I could always go and uh, refill the uh, things. Um, wash, fill, water bottle. There we go. <clears throat> and have a drink. Right. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. So in this box over here, I've got a bunch of uh, VHS tapes. We'll make sure that there's no duplicates. Same with the maps. I can always bin anything that uh, I've already got a copy of. Okay. Complete radio guide already read. Hang on. Right. Uh, pop that in there. Oh, is it full? Damn, that shelf is full. That's a problem. Okay, in which case, let's move... Uh, let's move the maps into the other box nearby. Actually, move the CDs. Move these onto the trolley. Okay. So leave this for maps and, uh, yeah, just uh, paper. Okay. Put the CDs over here. This, mili this military crate is uh maybe I'm maybe it's overkill there. Right, put that in there. How are we doing? A little bit of space, but those maps didn't take up a huge amount of space anyway. So, hmm. dog food. I'll go put this under the uh, under the kitchen sink. There we go. Ah yes, must put the sledgehammer from underneath the sink into the back of the car in the event that I need to sledgehammer down a door or whatever. Also, let me just eat a lollipop, just for the sake of my own personal morale. And also a mint. Did I eat one? Have another one. Oh wait, I'm grabbing them, not eating them. Did I put it on the trolley? Yep, hang on. Mm-hmm. So yeah, today everything's fine. Just gonna just gonna do some busy work with the uh, the data storage, really. Yeah, still hungry. Um, okay. Hang on, let me just. Uh, I don't need this blue pen. So drop that in there. Piece of paper. Drop that there. The cube. Uh, I've got loads of nails. I don't need multiple versions of the Lake Ivy map. Just take the one. What is Lake Ivy? Read the map. Okay, well, where's this place? Why does it look, why does this look familiar? Hmm. Where's that? Lake Ivy. That's not it. What did I just look at there? Lake Ivy. Oh, that's the country club. Okay, not sure. Oh, is that it? No. Not sure what I just looked at there. Maybe it's super small. Maybe it's like a, a tiny thing. That oh, hang on. Here it is. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I think I have driven down there. Wasn't that like super fortified, I seem to recall? Oh, all right. Actually blind, of course, yeah, dear. Yeah. Oh dear. Right, quick bite to eat while we're here. Ooh, grab some cereal. Put it in a bowl, but yeah, to put it in a bowl of cereal because I'm not a savage. Um, hang on. Cereal. 
Uh, oh no, wait. Open box of cereal? Cooking. <clears throat> Bowl of cereal. Oh, damn. We need milk. Crap. Don't have, don't have any. Alright, never mind. Just eat out the damn... Uh, eat it out the thing. Okay. Uh, eat about half. Indeed, Ender. I'm just unloading now. So I'm taking the uh, the guns that are in the boot of the pickup truck and I'm loading them into the cupboards upstairs and then I'm going to sort them to determine exactly what I have and what is useful. Cool. So let's uh, finish off the process. I don't need to grab everything because some of this would be quite useful. Hang on. Like leave the sledgehammer and the axe in here, for example, along with like things like wrenches and tire pumps and stuff. Thank you, Pingu. Thank you for saying so. Hmm. Welcome indeed, Pingu. Okay. Right, leave the propane torch in there. The welder's mask. Where's the torch gone? Not sure. Soap, take that with me. WD-40, take that with me. Also, don't forget that there is a weapon on the car seat. A large sniper rifle that featured in the Hitman series. The iconic sniper weapon that you often see him in the various like artwork. It's the suitcase sniper. <clears throat> uh, Ruger 1022, whatever that is. Okay. And I uh, might as well take the water bottle, it's empty. I could always fill it up. Okay, so in the front seat. Oh, that's a couple of 45 caliber casings on the floor. Here we step. The Walther WA-2000. And a VSS magazine and a 45 ACP magazine. There we go. Whoops, I dropped the cart. Place in both hands. Hmm? No? <clears throat> What's happening? Take trolley. There we go. Right. I think that's everything. Yeah. That, that can all live in there. Right. Okay. So, let's get this upstairs and start having a butcher's, shall we? What's that on the floor? Oh, it was on the desk, wasn't it? Oh, yes, of course. I've got all the guns here, too. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need additional weapon storage. Take the ammunition and place it on the cart. This can all go in the ammunition box in the other room. Okay. Mmm. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on. So, last night, did some cooking, as mentioned. Uh, I've got some editing to do on the bullshittery front, which will be Armour 3, hopefully, if I can get it working. The dog's fine. She's grubby, as always. She went into the park and started rolling in the mud, because that's how she do. Hang on. Lots of ammo. Lots of yummy ammo. Yeah, she's happy. She's a happy girl. Hmm? You a happy girl? Yeah. Right. What's happened to Axolotl? I'm not sure Mr. W was taken. I hope he's okay. Hope he's a-okay. I haven't seen him in a while. Right. Life happened? Indeed. Life does happen. He's tired of chat's bullshit. <laughs> uh, join the club. Right. Cool. Well, this shelf is nearly empty, so I could always use this for something else. So long as it all fits in the other room. I mean, hell, I could always move the shelf just into the other room. Rifle bipod. Hang on. Okay. What's in that trolley? Uh, ooh, a bunch of stuff. Neat. Just grab that. Okay, so the, ammun the ammunition box. Good lord, the ammunition box is nearly full. Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, everybody. 
Holy shit. The ammunition box is full. God damn. God damn. Alright. I'm not complaining. I mean, god damn. Alright, so. What about this middle one? Uh, so. Pistols and various smaller attachments. <clears throat> so. Extended magazines? Yeah. Two point slings, put stuff in there. Okay, uh, for now we might as well just uh, use the additional space for the boxes of ammo. Not ideal, but needs must right now. Okay. I can box up the rounds, oh for real? That'd be quite helpful, helpful I think then. Alright. Oh. The hat's a bit cheesy. <laughs> Indeed. Probably going to put some on the desk, too. Oh, pardon me. A Packers fan? Isn't that uh, like an American football thing? Is that what the cheese hat is? Is their emblem cheese? Wouldn't surprise me, being America. You do like your cheese, or your food. Green Bay Packers. What are they then? What do they do? I'm guessing American football or is it baseball? It's a big cheese production area. Is it really? Major Spray says American football. Zoob says baseball. Hangar Rona says football. I don't know if the chat if it's just fucking with me right about now. A Wisconsin team for American football. Hmm? Okay. Hang on. Green Bay Packers. Oh wow, you're not fucking with me. Holy shit. Cheesehead, what's this? Cheesehead is a nickname in the United States for a person from Wisconsin, Wisconsin, or for a fan of the Green Bay Packers NFL football franchise. Wisconsin is associated with cheese because the state historically produced more dairy products than other American states, giving it the nickname America's Dairyland. The use of the term cheesehead as a derogatory word for Wisconsinites originated from the Illinois football and baseball fans, sorry, Ill originated from Illinois and football baseball fans to refer to the opposing Wisconsin sports fans. The term, however, was quickly embraced by the Wisconsinites and is now a point of pride. There is now a picture of a man wearing a cheese hat, biting in what looks like syrupy, syrupy confectionery. No, it's a, it's a hot dog, I think, in a packet. Hmm. He looks quite happy. Rose Bruno first saw a cardboard cheese head hat at the Milwaukee Brewers vs. Chicago White Sox game in Chicago in 1987. Made the first one out of foam whilst cutting up his mother's couch. It was made popular by centre fielder Rick Manning, who saw the hat whilst playing. Oh wow, so this is a real thing. I thought it was just like a, a stupid meme thing. Or like a take the piss out of um, people standing on the street uh, corner, like with fast food costumes on or whatever. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. So it's a reference to something in America, like a football thing. American football thing. Okay. Right. What have I got on the cart? Bourbon, nails, yeah, put the stuff in there. Hang on, put this in here. WD-40 can go upstairs. There's also a rifle still on there. Oh, god damn. God damn, god damn, god damn. I need way more storage space. Okay. <laughs> I need so much more storage. Okay. Well, this is amazing. I mean, holy shit, we've got all this, all this ammo. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need the bits of paper. Can I just delete them from here? Hang on. <laughs> I need a second house. No, I just need I just need more more shelves. Okay. Uh, can I delete it from here? Oh no, just delete the message. I need to get like a, a like a wheelie bin up here or something. Okay, just leave this here for a moment. Drop. No. Drop. Place. Oh, whoops. That didn't work. Did it work? No, it worked. There we go. Okay, so... 
Let's have a look then. What do we have? Sort by category. So that's the wrong box. It's this one here. So yeah, to make additional room, can I sort these? So shotgun shells. One moment. If I search for the word box. Does it say like box ammo? Open box. Oh no. Place rounds in a box. Okay. Rounds in a box. Okay. So how many? Craft 9. Okay, there we go. So 308 craft 10. Let's do that then. Let's make a little bit of room. So craft these rounds. Right, so 0 .308 rounds put into a box. 0 .45 caliber rounds placed into a box. Place 5.56 millimeter rounds into a box. Oh, just the one. And 7.62 millimeter into a box. Where are those boxes? Are they in my inventory? They are. Okay. So, let me just take all of the spare ammunition that exists in bullet form, as in not in a box, and just see if I can box them. Rounds in a box. Nope. Whoops. Okay, I guess I'm guessing it already did that because I was near to it. Okay. So what do I have? A lot of DACA, I believe. Oops, sorry. Just need to pour a fresh drink. Might need to go get some water momentarily from my throat. I've just got some cola. It's probably not ideal. Okay. So, uh, one minute. I'll just eat this cereal because I'm a bit peckish. Uh, boxes, boxes, boxes. How much of this can I move into this other box? Hang on, is that the right one? Yes, it is. Yeah, da 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 da. Just the one. Okay. Yeah, it's completely chocker block. Okay. So, I have something called point twenty two. I've got twelve gauge and twenty gauge. Not many twenty gauge. So stick with the twelve gauge. So seven. Oh, of course, I need to pay more attention to the boxes. Seven boxes of 12 gauge. No boxes of 20 gauge. Oh, fuck, I'm never going to remember all this. I'm 35. I can't fucking do brain stuff. Winchester. So 308 Winchester. Okay. Uh, so mostly 5.56 millimeter rounds and 223. Remington rounds. Okay, and shotgun rounds. Hmm. And something called point twenty two LR, whatever that is. Okay. And forty five caliber. Nice. Yes, um where's okay. Oh fuck, I can't find a notepad. It's buried somewhere. Okay. So insofar as guns then, what exactly do I have? Let's start with the far end. So, gun cleaning kit. So I've got an AKM assault rifle. Let's have a look at this sucker. So, equip in both hands. Oh, wait, he's, oh wow, he even has a bayonet on the end. Uh, does that do anything? If I... Hang on. Uh, doesn't like... One minute. What is this then, precisely? Uh, AKM assault rifle, so rack, insert, change fire mode. Oh, wow. Okay, remove, upgrade, bayonet. One second. Let's have a look. The bayonet can be mounted on the AK assault rifle. Lots of different flavors. Okay. Adds bladed melee component to the weapon's muzzle. Does it, though? So, hang on, let me just uh, equip it. No magazine in the thing. So, hang on. Put the bayonet on it. Okay. Now put it on my back. How does one melee? Can I press X to... So it says 31. Rounds 1? Total 1. Okay. So there's a single bullet which is in there. That's it. Must have been in the chamber, I think. Okay. So does anyone know how to make the, the bayonet? 
uh, stabby. Do I have any magazines for it? Let's have a look. So I presume I'm looking for an AK magazine. <clears throat> Space bar? Yeah. Just seems to do that. Okay. 30 in the clip, 1 in the barrel. Indeed, but there is no clip. There is no magazine. Okay. So, put that back for a second. That's a little bit useless unless we can find a magazine. Otherwise, we're just firing one bullet and reloading it. So. Oh, no. Hang on. Remove upgrade. Does that say that there's a magazine in there? Because it says 7.6239 millimeter magazine. Zero out of 30. But there's no option to say eject magazine. I have a magazine. How can you tell? Let me press R. I can't physically see a magazine in there. Yeah, there's no magazine. Okay. I've got a magazine, says uh, Pancreas. Where then, sorry? Where can you see it? Oh, you're saying it's in the ammo box. Oh, you're correct. Hang on. I was looking for the words AK magazine. Insert magazine. Okay. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Okay. And it's full of bullets. Okay. Oh, I want to go test it shit. Yeah, I want to go give it a welly. Okay, so that's one thing. So we have an AK with at least one magazine. Maybe I should take some notes, actually. Um, where's my notepad? <laughs> you got to forgive me. I'm elderly. I'll never remember this shit unless I scribble it down. Okay, so... I've got the... AKM... One mag... How many bullets, though? So the magazine takes... Uh, 7.62... Millim... Uh, 7.62 times... 3.9 millimeter. How many of that do I have? Okay, I've got four boxes. How much does one box contain? Does it say? Give me one box, please. Did I open it? 21. That's it? Okay. So, so what? I've got 61 bullets? That's kind of rubbish. Hmm. Oh, no. No, I haven't. Look, I've got five additional boxes over here. Okay. Sweet. So I've got, like, what? Eight, nine bo Yeah, eight boxes. All right. Okay. So that's a potential option. So leave that over here. Okay. So that's a keep. We're keeping that weapon. Um, one minute. Some is Where is it? All right. So keep that AKM. So I'm just trying to determine what I can chuck. Where's it gone? Here it is. Right. Okay, so that's one. Uh, the Colt M16 with a wooden stock and a Colt M4 carbine. They both take the same flavor of ammunition, 5.56 millimeter. So this carbine does not have a magazine. This one does. So... What's the difference then? The wooden stock one is a little bit heavier. The carbine being shorter is lighter. Condition is fairly comparable. There's a little bit more range on the one with the wooden stock. Okay. Grab the carbine. <coughs> okay. Equip in both hands. Right. No magazine. Really? I thought it said magazine. Hang on. 
Remove the... Sorry. Eject the magazine from the other one. That should put it in my inventory automatically. There we go. Oh, no. I grabbed the whole thing. I couldn't take out the magazine without grabbing the gun itself. So, wait, what's, how many of these do I have? What the fuck? Colt M4 Carbine. <laughs> I've got three. Okay. With wooden stock, just normal. Something called A2. What's the, what does that mean? Hang on. Uh, M16 rifle. The M16 rifle. Uh, here we here we go. The M2. Uh, the development of the M16A2 rifle was originally requested by the United States Marine Corps as a as a result of combat experience in Vietnam. It was officially adopted by the Department of Defense as the U.S. rifle 5.56 mm M16A2 in 1982. It's fucking ancient. The U.S. Armed Forces adopted it in the early mid 1980s with the United States Army following suit. The weapon's reliability allowed it to be widely used by the Marine Corps Special Operations Division. Modifications to the M16A2 were extensive. In addition to the then new Stanag 4172, uh, what is that? Sorry, uh, it's a different type of round. 5.56 times 45 millimeter. Okay. Uh, chambering, uh, sorry, chambering and its accompanying rifle. The barrel was made with greater thickness. Okay. It's resistant to bending. Longer periods of sustained fire without overheating. Okay, so it was an upgrade just all over. The barrel was... Hang on. Oh, I see. It's been modified to allow the attachment of the M203 grenade. The grenade launcher. So the, the little thunk th things that you, they had in Vietnam. They found that most of the technology was actually in the grenade, you see. So if they could just put an underslung barrel. Oh, so can I... Can I attach one of those? Is that in the game? Hang on. So that's the one with the wooden stock. So where's this A2? Here it is. Needs magazine. Let's have a look at this sucker. Ooh, it's even got like a camera print on it. Okay. Hmm. So can I eject the magazines from the other two? Insert magazine. Okay, I presume they don't have magazines. Uh... Hmm. Insert magazine. There we go. Okay. Cool. Can I switch firing modes with it? Uh, change firing mode. Full auto. <laughs> okay. Cool. None of these have scopes or anything on them. I should keep all three. I'll probably die if I don't read chat soon. Why? Why do you say that, Jay? What have you seen? Okay. Uh, so what flavour ammo does this one take? Is it different to the other type of one? So the M16 takes 45mm. The A2 takes... Oh, no, wait. They all take 45mm. 5.56 times 45mm. It's not different, as the wiki article claims. Oh, wow. I've got 21 boxes. <laughs> okay. Holy moly. Cool. Okay. So, keep all of those then. Multiple assault rifles. Sweet. What, what's next? Let's have a look. So, for those just joining, I'm just going through the catalogue of guns that I've recovered from a pawn shop. So, three M16 rifles. One is a newer one after the Vietnam War. Uh, an A2 variant. An AKM assault rifle with one magazine. That's my hunting rifle with a scope on it. Ooh, pardon me. The M14. Was this the thing? So the 308 Winchester round. The M14. Wasn't this the gun that they had before the M16? The one that was inadequate in the in the Vietnam War? Hang on. The M14. Let's have a look. I think it is, isn't it? The M14. Does this have a magazine? Or is it like one of those stripper clip type deals? 
Um, needs a magazine to operate. No magazine? What flavour bullets? Oh, Winchester. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry, pardon me. Um... Can I just get some... Hang on. Just give me a handful of bullets. Do you just insert them into the top? Give me seven bullets. What happens if I press R? Hang on. Oh, no. Okay, okay. so I need a magazine that I don't have. Okay. Yeah, I, I think this is... Hang on. The M14. The M14 rifle. So the M14 rifle, officially officially, the United States rifle caliber 7.62mm M14 is an American selective fire battle rifle. Um, it became the standard issue rifle for the US military in 1959, replacing the M1 Garand rifle in, the, in service with the US Army. And by 1958, the US Marine Corps, sorry, by the US Marine Corps in 1965. The M14 was used. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, just a list of service, a uh, list of departments. Okay, hang on. The M14 is the basis for the M21 and the M25 sniper rifles, which were largely replaced by the M24 sniper weapon system. The new variant of the M14, the MK14 enhanced battle rifle, has been in service since 2002. Okay, so it's a battle rifle. It's not meant to... Uh, yeah, so it's a it, medium to long-range sharpshooter type deal. Still, with no magazine and no scope. Maybe I should chuck this one. We'll leave it in storage, but... Okay. What else do I have? My character is very bored. Let me just go and give them in some entertainment before they go stir-crazy on me. Okay. Why do I have a cheese hat? I'm a fan of the Green Bay Packers. They're amazing. They're very good at playing the sport, I think. <laughs> Hang on, just to take these maps and put them in the bin since I've got duplicates. Yeah, go, go Wisconsin Green Bay Packers. Defeat the Illinois... Shit. Whoever they were from Illinois. I've forgotten the name of the team from Illinois. I'm going to guess. Um, d d defeat the Illinois Bulls. Yeah. Hang on. Let's watch one of these. Which one? Uh, let's go with... Ooh, I don't think I've seen this one. Put this on for the sake of entertainment so my character doesn't go mad. Any madder than sitting there wearing a cheese hat. Hmm. Hmm. Boredom going down. There we go. Also, hi there, Harry. Hope you're very well. Indeed, I found this in a pawn shop. Mm. Where do you live, Harry? You've told me like a million times. I've already forgotten. Thank you, Gamer Nips. Ohio, that was it. Hang on. Ohio appears to be... Oh, you're miles away. You're all the way on the far eastern coast of the continent, next to Indiana, West Virginia. Oh, you're near Kentucky. You're near where this takes place. Ah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I just need to refill the water, uh, the pint of water. Hang on. Right. Ooh. There we go. So my character's got a bit of entertainment. Feeling a little sad. So without going outside and having the, ex the excitement of survival, your character gets very bored very quickly. I'll take some antidepressants just so I can keep going through my inventory. So antidepressants, open up the vial. Eh, open up the one that's already... Yeah, there we go. So oh, it's starting to snow again. Okay. How's the temperature outside? 
It is minus two. It's fucking cold. Fuck that shit. Let's get back indoors. 22 degrees inside. Nice and toasty. Okay. So, for the people just joining, sorry, I'm going through my survival inventory to, um... Oh, no. Ariagato has died. Right, what else have I got? So, uh, I've looked at the, the AKM, the uh, three different flavours of M16 rifle. Pardon me. An M14 battle rifle, which is probably not going to be very helpful because I don't have a magazine. What's this? Mossberg. Oh, so, th yeah, this is the 20 gauge shotgun that I've got. But uh, I don't have many bullets for that, so maybe I should save that. The OTS 14 Grozer. What's this? Let's have a looky. Okay. So the Grozer, uh, 7.62 times 39 millimeter. It's got a magazine that's about. Hang on. Takes about 30. It's very dinky. Is it dinky? Ooh, weird. Weird looking gun. Hang on. Uh, so. So 7.62 times 39 millimeter. Looking at my stores of ammunition. Cool. Yeah, five boxes. Is this the same one as the other one? So I've got like eight boxes of this. So it's the AKM magazine. Okay. So. There is a magazine. I wonder if the AKM magazine will work in this. Okay. Alright. So. That is light. 1.12 in weight. Okay. Are you, are you trying to shoot your own fingers? What? Uh, what? Excuse me? What? My character has her hand over the barrel? See, Yuri, when you aim like this, you never miss the target for fear of shooting own fingers. What is she doing? Okay. Right, uh, hang on. Ammo small canister. That contains ammo, doesn't it? What's in this? Sorry. I found a box, didn't I? In that box is... Ooh! Ten boxes of 380 ACP. Cool. Very cool. Uh, pick up the box. In fact, just place uh, place the whole box on the uh, on the top there. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. In fact, sorry. Does that ammo box have? No. I, was, I wondered if it was uh, had greater ammo storage capacity or something. Okay. Sorry. Let me read about the Groza. What is this thing? So the OTS S14 Groza um, is a Russian selective fire bullpup assault rifle chambering the 7.62 times 39 millimeter round subsonic round. It was developed in the 1990s at the TSKIB SU, the Central Design and Research Bureau uh, for, for sporting and hunting arms in Tula, Russia. The weapon is Kalik oh, I can't even is known as the OC14. Okay. Or the Groza 4. It has a single derivative, the TKB0239. The Groza saw limited use in 1999 in the Second Chechen War. However, it quickly fell out of favour. It is no longer produced. Oh, really? Why? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Why did it fall out of favour? Hang on. I'm curious, is there a story? Um. Hang on. So the Groza was meant to uh was meant to supplant or replace the Kalashnikov rifles, specifically the AKS-74 or the AKS-74U variants as a close quarters combat weapon. It was intended to be a module. It was intended to be mod modular, being able to accept a variety of attachments such as suppressors, grenade launchers, and various sighting devices. 
It shared over 70% of its parts with the Kalashnikov, making it easy to manufacture with existing machinery. Therefore, the Groza sounds like an ideal gun for close quarters combat. Real world experience from operators highlighted the problems of the gun's design. The Kalashnikov's action, that has always been described as a little violent, was now located next to the operator's face, blowing excessive amounts of gas at the shooter. <laughs> oh no. The short sighted ra uh, sorry, the short sight radius hindered accuracy and the gun was too rear heavy with a gr when when a grenade launcher or suppressor was not mounted. Oh no. Um the safety and magazine release are in the same position relative to the magazine of a traditional AK, meaning they're very far back on the grozer. Instead of moved forward on more modern bullpups such as the Tavor X95 this makes changing magazines and turning the safety on and off a difficult affair. The worst problem with the Grozer is that it's almost impossible to fire from the other shoulder in close quarter situations due to the bullpup design and violent nature of the action. Shooting from the opposite shoulder is a common technique when shooting around a corner in close quarters. The Grozer is also very difficult to clean, with tons of small nooks and crannies that are hard to reach. There were numerous logistical problems with the Grozer. The rifle was issued in the case, sorry, in, in a case with accessories, but only two magazines, and some units reported difficulties acquiring more of them. This scarcity applied only to the Grozer's, sorry, the Grozer's chambered, sorry? This scarcity applied only to Grozer's chambered in the 9mm, sorry, in 9x39, as the other variants use standard AK magazines. Okay. So the soldiers hated it. Oh no. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. So sorry for those just joining. I've got a, I've got a, a Russian submachine gun, which is apparently hated by its operators because it had a violent action, and it was right next to the user's face. You couldn't fire it over your left shoulder easily. It sprayed hot gases in your face, and you couldn't switch the safety on and off. And you only, you only had two clips. They only shipped with two clips. How, sorry, how many... Do we have any soldiers in the chat? How many magazines do you normally carry? Like, on a, on like a, in, on a given Tuesday. How many do you have with you? Six. God damn, they only gave two? Fully loaded. Six to eight, says uh, Eliphaz. Kazanova says 69, but I don't think he can be trusted. Six to eight, says most of the people in the chat. Okay, oh, okay, so, <laughs> okay, whoops. Right, one minute, I'm just going to get a bowl and make a, or three bowls, why not? Get some beans. Okay, well, today I learned. So, what about for my purposes, though? I mean, I've got a couple of magazines, shouldn't be a problem for me. Not that many bullets, though. Still, we should keep it. Bowl of beans. Open up the oven. Uh, wait, did I actually... Did I fill the bowl? Yeah, bowl of beans. Put it in the oven. Slap it on. Oh, there's still some left. Open can of beans. Alright, make another one. Oh no, don't... God damn it. Opening a fresh can of beans. Fine. Right. Uh, the Groza, or Groza, maybe? Flam Flamois? There we go, cooking. Be careful not to... Uh... There we go, this one's freshly cooked. Eat this one. The other one's burning, be careful. There we go, put the other in my inventory for the minute. Okay. Right. So I'll go and uh, I'll go and pop this uh, this gun back in its box. Okay. Right. Cool. So an option, but not necessarily the first option. I think. All right. What else is here? Uh, so the Mossberg five hundred. That's the shotgun with the twenty gauge shots. The SKS Paratrooper. Tell me about this. 
Hang on. What is this? SKS Paratrooper. Equip in both hands. It takes... Sorry, I missed, went so quickly. Um, it takes 7.62. Again, so similar. It's the Russian ammo. I've only got eight, I've only got eight boxes, so I'm going to go through that quite quickly. Okay. Stripper clips, apparently. What happens if I eject one? You cannot eject a fixed magazine. Oh, really? So I, I just load them into the top? So hang on. Do I have any of... Um, can I just grab some of those bullets for the sake of testing? Open one box. There we go. 20 bullets. Press... Oh. Fuck. I heard a voice. Did you hear a voice? Hang on. Not actually loaded. Hello, hello. <clears throat> One minute. Oh. Who just said hello? away for a second pretty sure there's not PvP going on but I just want to have a gun just in case just in case where's the carbine is this the one that was loaded that's Ariagato hang on what happened to that magazine there it is Got a, yeah, I've got a got a weapon. Well, you're outside. Hmm. I heard him. <clears throat> Weird. Okay, sorry. Um, looking at the time, I'm kind of running out of it. My throat is failing me. <clears throat> so, sorry, the SKS is what exactly? One minute. The SKS paratrooper. So, can I just insert the rounds into the top? Is that how it works? Do, 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 do. Uh, so insert. What happens? Okay, you just put them in the top. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. And it's Winchester rounds? I've got loads of those. So what is this? The SKS Paratrooper. Uh, da, 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 da. So the SKS... Uh, self-loading carbine of the Simonov system of 1945 is a semi-automatic rifle designed by the Soviet small arms designer Sergei Gorilovich Simonov in 1945. Okay, also ancient. Uh, beginning in 1988, millions were sold on the civilian market in North America where they remain popular as hunting and sporting rifles. Okay. Why? Why popular? Let's have a look. Initially, the SKS was a rarity, with only instances, with the only instances available, available being those bought as souvenirs uh, by Vietnam veterans. The SKS was first imported into the United States in 1988. Due to the high volume of Chinese imports, it, bec it became a cheap and desirable option. With SKS and sorry, with an SKS and a case of ammunition selling for around $150. Within a decade, several million SKS rifles had been sold on the civilian market. Okay. So a popular sporting and hunting rifle. Okay. Oh, wow. It's still, it's still being used. Wait a second. There's lots of pictures of, of ceremonial displays with the SKS. Is that just for ceremony or is that... The armed forces of... 
Where? Oh, there's loads of them. Holy shit. Good lord. Albania, Algeria, Belarus, Afghanistan, China. God damn, China. Holy shit. You got. Oh, sorry. Used for ceremonial purposes. Slovenia, Sierra Leone, Syria. They're everywhere. Okay. Hmm. Makes sense. Regardless, not a huge number of bullets for it. So I'll use it. Certainly useful, but. Um, okay. So uh, two more and then we're done because I, I think I, I, my throat is starting to fail me now, I'm afraid, folks. So what's this? For those just joining, I'm just um, reviewing the guns that I've got in my in my inventory, to, the ones that I've just retrieved. What's this? So 5.56. This is the, yeah, this is the bullpup that I cannot pronounce. Steyr? Org A1. Okay. Um, contains magazine? It does. What is the magazine? Uh, it's just a normal Stanag magazine. Okay, insert magazine. Right. Okay, one minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying way too much, aren't I? I'll just drop some, uh, drop some stuff back in. Need to be a bit careful. Right. Um. It's all the bullets as well. Right. Okay. So, what is this? So, uh, it's an Austrian bullpup assault rifle chambered with the 5.56 times 45 millimeter NATO cartridge, of which I've got a lot. Hooray! We should consider using this. Right. So, um, it was adopted by the Austrian army in 1978, where it replaced uh, the FN Fal. Okay, in production since 1978. Okay. Uh... Imports into the United States began in 1980s. Uh, President George W. Sorry, H. W. Bush banned the org via an executive order under the 1989 assault weapons import ban. Six years into the ban, org buyers gained a reprieve as a as cos cosmetic changes in the carbine design allowed importation once again. Why? What was, so what was wrong with it? Federal assault weapons ban. What's this? The Public Safety and Recreational Firearms Use, subsection of the Violent Crime Control. Okay. Prohibition on the manufacture for civilian use of certain semi-automatic firearms. Okay. Oh, all right then. I figured it would be of American manufacture. I guess not. It's imported from Austria. Oh, okay. Tell me about... Users, military, conflicts, been used all over the place. Oh, it's still used in the... Okay, still used today. Civilian variants. It's a weird-looking gun, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do one more. I, I, my throat is starting to fail me now, I'm afraid, folks. <clears throat> I just want to have a look at the... Where is it? I want to learn more about the not this. Where is it? Where is that fancy, fancy gun that I just found? Where did I put it? Yes, the Walther. Did I did I bring it in from the car? Did I put it in my pack? Ah, there it is. The Walther WA-2000. Let's have a look at this. So, 308 Winchester rounds. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. You might recognize this gun from the Hitman series. It's the one... It's the suitcase sniper. Right. Press R. It does have a magazine, it seems. I'm reloading the magazine. Is that 10 bullets per magazine? I think. Okay, what is this?
The Walther WA-2000. So the Walther WA-2000 is a semi-automatic bullpup sniper rifle produced by the Carl Walther GmbH Sports Waffen Company from 1982 until 1988. It was produced in three different calibers. Production of the rifle was limited as, uh, and it was shortly stopped because it was just too expensive to achieve widespread sales and was not robust enough for military use as a sniper rifle. Only 176 were built. Wow. Making it one of the rarest and most sought-after uh, sought production firearms ever made. Wow. The WA-2000 was designed in the late 1970s and early 1980s in response to the 1972 Summer Olympics Munich Massacre. The bullpup design was chosen because it would allow a standard length barrel to be used whilst the overall length would be shorter than a conventional rifle. The WA-2000 had a quick detachable scope mounted with a weight of just under a kilogram. The rifle did not have iron sights. The most commonly used optical sight was the Schmidt & Bender 2.8x10 telescopic sight. Without a scope, the rifle has an unloaded weight of just under 7 kilograms and a loaded weight of 7.35 kilograms. The .300 Winchester Magnum round was chosen. Someone's outside. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a weird sight. Hang on. Hello? Quizzically peering round corners. So I, I just a cheeky bug. I just climbed my fence. <laughs> Damn kids. Just gonna stare at him ominously out the window. No, oh, I can't. Uh, it, oh no, have I boarded up all the windows or hang on? Just peering, just gonna be a nosy neighbour. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's me. Sam is also in this area. Okay. Uh, sorry, what is it saying? Um, so the .300 Winchester Magnum round was chosen as the primary caliber because of its long-range accuracy and consistency at all ranges. The entire rifle was designed around the barrel. The WA-2000 fires from a closed bolt and uses, uses a bolt with seven locking lugs. It has either a single-stage trigger or a two-stage trigger. I don't, I don't know what that means, sorry. The rifle uses a single stack box magazine with a six round capacity. Okay. So the rifle was produced in 1982 until November 1988. The rifle was used by some German police units, but production was stopped because it was just too expensive to achieve widespread, widespread sales. It was never adopted for the military. Okay. So the final retail cost for the base rifle was around the range of $9,000 to $12,000. And the, the rifle's current value ranges from 400, sorry, from 40,000, my mistake, 40,000 to um, 75,000. 75,000 for the second generation. Second generation? Okay. It looks cool. I don't know about you, but that's a cool looking gun. I don't know what, yeah, okay, hang on. Did. Hang on. Hmm. I just found a, a, a post from gun collectors going crazy about the presence of one. Uh, according to the seller, according to this commenter, this is the third to last model ever finished. 
I haven't had the time to verify this, but it would make sense, considering it does have a vertical adjustment at the back of the stock, and I've never seen any before having that. Um, I see, I think someone's trying to verify whether or not it's a legit purchase. Cool. Well, I've got one. So, one of only 176 in the world, I think. Neat. I'm going to go shoot it. <laughs> Let's go shoot something. Put some out. Put some stuff in my pack. Quick, quick bit of shooting, and then I'm gonna bog off and uh, hang on, eat this. Go crack on with the editing stuff today. Okay. Uh, uh, how did this get here? Oh, rotten! I put that there ages ago. Just gonna make sure that I can run. Let's go. How many bullets do I have? Uh, might need a handful more. One minute. Who's climbing my fence? What the hell's that noise? Da -da 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 -da. What am I doing? What the? There we go. Uh, 40, where are the Winchester rounds? Did I put them all back in their boxes or? Three oh eight, yeah, 308 Winchester. So let's take one box. And open box. Cool. Right. Fairly heavy load. I'm just going to put this in the uh, the pack. Oh, is it my door? Hello? What's going on? I keep hearing... Is an admin admin fucking with me? Hmm. Never mind. <coughs> right, hang on a second. I'm just going to go test this sucker. Oh, hello. There's a Z right here. Okay. Da, 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 da. Shouldn't rush around too much. I'm going to exhaust myself. Do it quickly before I lose the daylight. Hello. What's the range on it then? Ooh, okay. Not bad, eh? Cool gun. Pretty good for this sort of thing as well. Big heavy set rifle, headshot zombies, keep them away from you. Okay. Any more? Yeah, loud as fuck though, definitely. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this weapon. Have to remove the magazine, start loading the magazine. If I can find it, ed find additional magazines of this flavor, that'd be super useful. All right then. Okay. Just one shot, a far cry from the pistols, the 9mm pistols, isn't it? One shot, bang, bang, bang. Big group over there. Hello. Did I miss and kill one at the back? <laughs> oh, 
watch out for that crawler. Stand by. Piss. Not bad, and I've got quite a lot of Winchester rounds too. Yeah, it's Sod's Law, this is when I get killed after all this. Come on. There we go. How's my shooting abilities? Skill. Shooting. Aiming. Almost on the third... Well, half, almost halfway through the third square there. Almost uh, leveled up reloading too. Nice! I think we've done quite well, chat, haven't we? We've got numerous guns. The Russian ones don't have that many bullets, but the NATO ones have quite a few. I've got lots of boxes of uh, the Winchester and the Remington rounds. Okay. Oh, what's that noise? Nothing. Right, so if you'll forgive me, folks, I'm going to bog off. My throat is actually killing me. We'll see how I go this evening. I really hope I'm not coming down with something. It just feels very scratchy, like like my tonsils are inflamed. Anyway. So, um, I'm going to... Uh, yes, for those who weren't here at the start, I'm, I need to work on armor bullshittery, but I'm going to level with you. The master project file is a mess. Uh, mainly because I don't think there ever really was a formal master project file in, in Adobe Premiere. So before I do anything, I've got to start going through footage, organizing it, n making notes properly, generally just getting my house in order before I can even, uh, you know, before I can even put together and put together an edit. So that's the plan. One minute. Just going to uh, park this vehicle, so uh, it's a little clear that this is like just not like a random spawn. Okie dokie. Lock the door behind me. Sweet. So thank you again for watching, folks. Have a lovely afternoon. Uh, let me just have a look and see who's doing what. A minute. Hang on. Um, thank you to Dark Bagel and Razzle Dazzle Red and Arnie. Thank you sincerely, folks. One second. And... Pot uh, and uh, Potable Potato and Sir Dance a Lot. Thank you for subbing, guys. Thank you. Right. So, who's playing what right now? Dinklebean is playing. Okay, let me hand you over to let me hand you over to Dinkle. So he's doing Project Zomboid. I'll leave you in his company, and you can see how well he's surviving. He seems to have a. Oh, he's got a pretty good rifle. Okay. So this is Dinklebean. Thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely afternoon. See you again soon.